Community science is really empowering normal citizens, not just scientists, to collect data and address problems that are important to the community. When I was hired, I was really given a vision from Papa Jack because he was a teacher here for 52 years and he had such an impact and touched so many lives for students that took biology from him and then now have gone into the community. And it was really his vision for this lab to serve as a resource, not just for Iolani School, but for the community. This idea of a private school with a public purpose and help empower other schools in increasing the level of STEM education I feel like it, it's our responsibility as a private school here in Hawaii that has a lot of resources to share those resources and expertise. Community science is made up of four different programs, independent research, Pa'e Pa'e Ovai Kolu, the Aina Informatics Network, and STEM Plus. And they're all interconnected, but they all seek to address real world problems through the collection of scientific data. What I love about independent research is that it's a journey for kids and they learn so much about themselves through, through doing this project that they lead. And it's really driven by their passion and desire to address a problem in their community. Science is really question driven and um, really concern driven. And these students, you know, they grow up here, um, they have the opportunity to, you know, take a step back and think about, well, you know, what problems or what questions do they have? And they can take this time to get their ideas out on paper and pursue them. The students are in a perfect place to investigate these community issues and have the opportunity to propose a solution or at least uh, another way of rectifying whatever's happening in the community. They're so reflective of what the students are interested in. It's when they start presenting it to the community, like in science fair, it's like a light goes off. They're like, oh wow, like people are really interested in this. And it's not just me. That's when they can feel really proud of everything that they've accomplished. Pa'e Pa'e o Vaikolu is the stream biodiversity effort to monitor and restore the stream biodiversity. And Corey App has been leading that effort now for eight years. The project has been re-energized as well with the hiring of Andy Sharuk, who's really brought a teacher's perspective to the program and helped make those connections for teachers to the science that Corey App is bringing. Pa'epae o Vaikolu gets its name from the type of activity that we do in our streams, which is using a lot of noise or using disturbance to herd animals downstream, where we can find them using different types of nets to do our surveys. And we're trying to see if there's a ecological change based on removal of invasive species and trying to help improve our, our waterways by increasing habitat for native species that are great indicators of water quality or stream health. The Aina Informatics Network has been super exciting this year. So last year we were able to help with the COVID response with our COVID trackers project where we were able to bring the Oxford nanopore minion sequencing into high school classrooms and help students join the pandemic response by helping sequence the COVID genomes and then give that data to the Department of Health so that they could track the different variants that were moving through our community. Ioinformatics Network was really designed to bring genome science into local high school classrooms. We're really focusing on using really cutting edge and modern genome science tools. And then we're also training these tools on questions that students care about. STEMPLUS was actually formed by Megan Kawatachi, Jackie Okamura, and I. We were really trying to take STEM one step further. And so it's always been kind of connecting experts to teachers. So STEMPLUS is usually monthly meetings that we host at Iolani School. What ends up happening is we partner either with an organization or researchers and scientists 
that would like to give information about projects that they're working on. In the past, some of the STEM Plus meetings were co-hosted by the Pacific Voyaging Society and the Blood Bank of Hawaii. We've worked with the Freeman Seabird Preserve to roll out some of their curriculum also. So I think for the teachers that come to our STEM Plus meetings, they're looking for opportunities to connect what students are learning in the classroom to the community. I feel like community science is important because it's really showing students and teachers how scientists do real science. What I would like to see in the future is it not being so unusual that kids are like, I'm a scientist, I'm doing science. I can have an impact on the world around me by collecting new knowledge that's needed, coming up with solutions that are based in evidence. I would just love to see everyone going out there in service to their communities, empowering every school with the skills and the knowledge to do that and to go out and address problems that are important to them. Because learning science is so much more interesting and powerful when you're addressing a question that's important to you. I'm super proud of what we've, what we've done over the last eight years here at Iolani School and um, how we've been a, a resource for the community and helping connect teachers to experts and not just touch the lives of students here at Iolani, but touch the lives of students across the state. And I really feel like we've been able to do that with our programs and help have an impact on STEM education.